Good morning dear friends. What a joy it is for us to have another day added to our lives that we may live and glorify our heavenly Father. And may the gracious Lord grant you his holy spirit to guide you, to lead you and and enlighten you to understand God's word. Let us spend few minutes meditating upon God's word. and may the holy spirit expand our understanding today's meditation is centered around first john the first letter that john wrote chapter 5 verse 13 and this verse says chapter 5 verse 13 of first john state here i write these things to you who believe in the name of the son of god so that you may know that you have eternal life you know every christian would like to have an assurance of his or her salvation and that is the certainty that when he or she dies or if jesus christ comes before the death that he or she wants to be in heaven with jesus for eternity and nowhere in this letter the apostle uh say or states that a past experience or on a faith that no longer vital constitutes an assurance or guarantee for our salvation this letter sets out nine ways by which we may know that we are in a saving uh, relationship with the lord jesus christ and the number one is there is eternal life if we believe in god believe in jesus christ and believe in the son of god as mentioned in first john chapter 5 verse 13 which says i write these things to you who believe in the name of the son of god so that you may know that you have eternal life there is no assurance of eternal life or assurance of salvation without an earnest faith in jesus christ and let us not take things for granted that somehow we have some kind of faith that is not enough if you need to have an assurance of salvation and sense the guarantee that you will be with the lord jesus christ either when jesus comes or when you die and it is important and you need to have an earnest faith and a whole hearted commitment to remain in that faith and to do everything you know you must do like reading and establishing your faith on the word of god and number 2 we have assurance of eternal life if we are honoring christ as lord in our lives and sincerely trying to obey his command In everything do we do for Jesus there must be sincerity and wholeheartedness It is not enough to say I know him and that knowledge should lead you into a truly uh, into a knowledge and to do his command As mentioned in 1 John chapter 2 verses 3 to 5 then chapter 3 verse 24 then chapter 5 verse 2 and then hebrews chapter 5 verse 9 and these verses confirm what i have just mentioned that is it is not good enough to say i know him and that knowledge should lead you into a truly sincere knowledge of him and do his command number 3 we have the assurance of salvation 
if we truly love the father and the son rather than the world added to this is our determination to overcome the world and do not come under the influence of the world and sometimes carelessly we allow the world to get in and influence us rather than we getting into the world and influence the world with our knowledge of God and his son Jesus Christ and that is the right thing to do that's the way you can be assured you can be sure that you have the, uh, the you have eternal life and the number 4 we have assurance of eternal life if we habitually and persistently practice righteousness rather than sin always remember that we are prone to be attracted by some sinful activities but we have to fight against it and determine that we are not going to allow the world and its sin to influence me but i have to influence the world with my knowledge and the intimacy with the lord jesus christ and fifthly now uh, scripture verses first john chapter 2 verse 29 and chapter 3 verses 7 to 10 because we don't have much time that's why i'm not reading but please take down these references and read it for yourself number 5 we have the assurance of eternal life if we love our brothers and sisters in the uh, family of god this then how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence first john chapter 3 verse 14 and also 19 chapter 2 verses 9 to 11 and chapter 3 verse 23 and this is very vital and important in order to have that assurance of salvation and eternal life that we truly consider the brotherhood and love our brotherhood our brothers and sisters in the family of god remember your earthly family is a relationship and love everything will come to an end with this life but the family of god is eternal and our relationship and our intimacy with our brothers and sisters in the family of god therefore must be deeper and uh, sustain it by our constant uh, effort of uh, bringing peace between us and live together this is the plan of god and this is the way you can be sure that you have eternal life and the assurance of salvation and i pray that the holy spirit will help you and number 6 we have assurance of eternal life if we are conscious of the holy spirit dwelling within us do you know if you know the lord jesus christ as your personal lord and savior that moment you acknowledge him so the holy spirit is sent to dwell within you and what happens is very often we do not realize that there is this third person the holy trinity is dwelling within us within me and i need to be intimate with him and for me he is the most important person in my life because he is the one who is going to help me and lead me and enlighten me and help me to understand god's plan and purposes for my life he is the one who makes jesus very precious to us and this is how we know that jesus christ lives within us and we know it by the spirit 
he gave us. 1 John chapter 3 verse 24. He has given us the Holy Spirit that we may possess this knowledge. And that we have eternal life. And number seven, we have assurance of eternal life if we strive to follow Jesus Christ and his example and live as he lived. First John chapter 2 verse 6 and the, the gospel according to St. John chapter 8 verse 12. And this is very important for us to practice. It becomes a practice with us. And then we will have the assurance of eternal life. What is to practice? Our faith. And accept by faith. And remain in the word of life. And what is that word of life? It is the living Christ. As the gospel according to St. John chapter 1 begins this way, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So if we believe and accept and remain in the word of life, which is Jesus Christ as a person. He is the living word and the Bible is the written word. Both are very important. And number nine, we have assurance of eternal life if we have an earnest uh, longing and an unbending hope for Christ's return to receive us to himself. First John chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 say, Beloved, now we know we are the children of God, but it is not yet revealed to us what we shall be. But when we see Jesus, we shall be like him. And this, of course, is God's will for each one of us. That we be like his son, Jesus Christ. That is one desire our Father in heaven has as for you and for me. And if we, if you and I will have this earnestness and a longing and, and also an unbending uh, hope for Christ's return to re receive us to himself. If that is the hope with which we live, then we have the assurance that we have eternal life and eternal salvation. Practice these nine things, my friends. And let the word of God abide in you more and more richly and enrich and enlarge your faith. And let your faith keep you and make you firm. And make sure that you do not waver in your faith. First John chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 and the gospel according to St. John chapter 14 verses 1 to 3 where Jesus himself says let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me in my father's house there are many rooms if it had not been so I would have told you but I go to prepare a place for you and once I prepare it I will come back and take you so that you may be with me forever wherever I am this is the promise that in which he shall never fail. And that day is fast approaching, my friends. Jesus is coming. Let us live with that assurance and certainty of salvation and eternal life. And let us live that, with that living hope that Jesus Christ is coming soon. And I shall see him. And when I see him, I shall be like him. This is what God wants us. And may the Holy Spirit help you. And I pray that you shall find his, <clears throat> his presence so energizing, so 
uh, hope inspiring and you begin to love him more and more father may your spirit now fill us with this hope and may we be enabled by the holy spirit to live in this hope and we shall see you face to face and then we shall be like you for this is your plan thank you for enabling us strengthening us thank you for hearing us in jesus name amen my friend throughout this day the lord jesus christ will be with you and he will guide you by his spirit amen